Hey guys, welcome back to Eskimo Doors, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make effective shotgun out of your pellet gun. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need some targets. You don't really need them, but if you're shooting targets, I guess bring targets. Um, what you're going to need is some pellets, up to three. Um, you're going to need a Daisy A80, Crossman 760, any standard pump action, kind of, you know, pump pellet gun or BB gun. Smooth bore works best, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I sure you probably won't break your gun. Probably. I say probably, so it's not my fault. But mine, I've been shooting it like this forever, and it still works. So, I'm going to show you all how to load it. First, guys, you're going to open the port of your pellet gun. And you're going to grab up to three pellets. Um, one, obviously, is normal. I'm going to use two. For the most power, kind of the more pellets you use as a general, the less powerful each pellet is going to be. But you're going to have more pellets. So depending on how close you are, how many pellets you want to use, if you're using it for power. So I'm just using little Crossman hollow points in the 177. It's really hard to focus. Come on. Oh, you get the idea. So I'm going to be taking a test of two and three pellets from. Two different distances, 5 yards and 15 yards. I'm going to show you how accurate they are, and they're surprisingly pretty accurate. But anyway, let's just show you to load this real fast. So what you're going to do, you're going to put in your pellet, just manually, just front facing always, of course. You're going to close the charging hammer like you normally would. But instead of pumping it, and then you're going to open it again. After you push that pellet down, it's going to be in the chamber. But apparently, since this is a pellet gun, and not like normal guns, they're not going to have a chamber, because there's no projectile, there's no case holding the pellet, you see. It's just one barrel, and that's pushing it, and it's trying to engage the rifling up front. So when you put in pellets, you're effectively just pushing the pellet down the barrel. Um, there's no chamber, there's no stop. You can put in as many as you want. They'll just become very weak after a certain point. So two is how I'd normally go, but... Three, I've tried five before, and that works just fine as well. So there's your second one, and you're going to close the breech. And if you have a third, I don't. Um, but we'll be using thirds later in this video. We're just going to um, put another one in, open it, use normally would, and then just close again. Hear that click. And now we're going to pump it. All right, guys, so anyway, I pumped it up ten times. Um, that's going to be as much as for all the power you need. Make sure safety's on. Mine isn't. Keep that on right there. And now, we're going to go and do some range testing. Alright guys, so stick around. I'm just going to show you how these things work, how accurate they are, and what their limits are. So you guys will be pretty amazed. It's actually going to work. So, here we go. First off, I'm going to set up a target. This is two pellets in five yards away. For Europeans, four-ish meters. I don't know exactly the, you know, translation, but you get it. Guys, here's our shots. Alright guys, so I was recording out there, you know what I mean? Um, so there's some house sparrows, English house sparrows that come up, and I got a few of them. There's some doves in there, I did not shoot any doves for clarity. And here's the house sparrows, they're all clean kills, the double pellets, did them in good. Two pellets for 50 feet. And we got a little under an inch grouping. I shot a little low, but that's my bad. Um, but the pellets are a little less than an inch. This would be good up close. Two pellets. Now let's go see how three pellets do. Alright guys, no way. But from 36 feet away, we got the same size grouping. A little under an inch. Um, of course my aim was off a little bit, but that was my bad. If you can get a... I should have sighted in the rifle before this video, but I just figured this was just for the groupings. So, you, if you guys can get this a rifle sighted in, you're going to have two pellets going in about 700 feet per second. Um, I need to do the calculations for that, probably not 700 feet per second. But um, this is obviously strong enough. It went through it. I know it's hard to tell, but I know what I'm doing. These two right here. Even if you want to, you can open this up. We have two holes right here. I should really put a notebook behind it, but right here. We have two holes. So those pellets did, in fact, go through this cardboard. So we at least know they're strong enough to do that. 
But let's move on to three pellets at 36 feet. All right, guys, this is our first time that we used three pellets. And our grouping kind of got a little worse, but it's a little under two inches. And um, that's actually really good, um, considering it's 36 feet away. But um, it also went all the way through, which I'll, I need to do a test. Like how many pages it can go through. If we can get this video to 20 likes, we'll do that. Um, don't forget to send your submissions to my email. Um, and we're going to do today's catch it in this video. But before we get to that, let's finish this up and do it from 5 yards away. Oh well guys, hopefully this lighting's a bit better. But this is our last go. This is 15 feet or 4 some meters. Which is 3 about an inch wide group right here um three pellets all three went through all three made a little mess down there and yeah. oh yeah so if you guys want to try this this could be good depending on how much you put in here for like small birds i'm going to show you a picture i mean you already saw them um the sparrows i got was two pellets um for three i'd recommend just target but two that should do anything up the rabbits if you're close enough so be responsible, try not to break anything, um, um, have a good day, and here's our today's catch, this one's from Brody Cool from Omaha, Nebraska. If you guys want to send in your own, just go send it from email.